Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorial on Nembrini Rack Analog. <clears throat> In this video I'd like to introduce you to the Rack Analog uh, Delay app. Uh, the great thing of uh, all the Nembrini apps is that they have a common interface, a very easy to use and therefore you can you know uh, plug them play in your composition very very easily and very quickly so <clears throat> let's start in AUM to add an audio channel and inside that audio channel let's choose a synth where we can play some guitar preset so in this case I'm going to load the pure synth where I can find some some nice uh, guitar presets so let's click on it and let's select the preset browser. Let's go to Pure Synth Platinum and let's choose Guitar Electric, for example, a jazz guitar. Let's bring up the keyboard in AUM and let's hear to the preset. Okay, perfect. Now let's click on the effect and uh, let's search for delay. And it should come up with Analog Rack Delay from Nembrini Audio. Let's click on it, and as you can see, a very familiar interface if you're used to other Nembrini audio application. So, <clears throat> let's start very simply with um, um, the description of the control. So, you have an input control, and uh, you have an output control. So, you can control with the input of the signal, which goes inside the delay effect, and also you can decide if to increase or decrease the output, which comes out from the effect. We have four dials, one for the timing, one for the offset, one for the feedback, and one for the mix. So the mix is very straightforward, so if I put it down to zero, there's no mixing um, of the delay effect with the audio coming from pure synth. As I increase that, you can start to hear the effect, of course. <clears throat> Next, we have a feedback dial. And um, this dial is used to increase the feedback of the delay. Be careful because as you increase the feedback, you will have uh, the delay ringing uh, longer and longer towards infinite. So if I put it down to zero, no feedback. As soon as I increase it a little bit, oops, sorry, I need to have um, the mixer on. So mixer on, um, feedback. So just only a couple of plays, increase the feedback. You can see that the feedback uh, um, is lasting longer. As, as you would expect. <clears throat> Next we have an offset uh, a dial. So let's turn down this to zero. You hear what is happening uh, between the different plays of the delay. As I increase this, listen to the difference. Okay, that offset between them is very clear now. So listen from there to this one. Okay, a very clear difference in terms of how the note is repeated from a, de a delay perspective. Okay, so hopefully that is straightforward. And then we have a timing. So if it is set to zero, uh, the delays are um, uh, overlapping, particularly with the note. And as I start to move up in milliseconds, they're very close. And um, further up. And of course, I have a sync button as well, which allows me to see the uh, note. Um, Duration 1 8, 1 16, etc., as I prefer. This is sometimes useful uh, for uh, remembering the um, configuration. And as I said, you have um, the, your input and output control, you have your power on and off, and you have the that analog uh, uh, effect that you can turn on and off. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we have, uh, as always, a menu where we can check the uh, online product info and the about. We can move up and down presets, which are shown here. So this is the default preset. You can have a quarter delay, one eighth delay. You can undo, redo, and then you have banks, banks A and B, where you can record the configuration. At the moment we are on bank A, we can copy that to bank B. So we select bank B is the same as bank A. Here we can change, for example, a little bit um, the configuration. Then we can go back to bank A to listen to the difference. And again, you can use copy button again if you want to copy from the red selection, in this case B to A. We have uh, a selection of pattern. You can go to factory preset. We have a number of preset which comes with the delay effect. And we have a save, a save as a delete, and also on and off, which acts on the power switch. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's um, very simple to use uh, the Nembrini uh, analog rack apps, and uh, I find myself using them a lot because um, you can quickly, as I said at the beginning of the video, add them in, in uh, your creation. I will continue the um, tutorials with other apps uh, from the analog rack bundle. See you next time. Bye.